So I'm starting again here at the ruin, which is the village house. We go along here. And this is the part of the house that is much more habitable. So you have a kitchen, living room and two rooms leading off the living room. And you also have an underground, uh, an underground floor of the house as well. You also have that side bit as well. You have all these structural buildings located here. You have what would be a stable there. The chicken coop and also for other grazing animals here as well as storage. You have other rooms here. Gorgeous guard dog there. And as I say, the land goes from that wall along there and this wall along here. Again, more agricultural buildings. And now we go through this gate here. And we have from this wall to that wall. As I say, this area has been fenced off to allow the animals to graze. Now this house is located just towards the end of the village. There's some grapes here, look. There's vines around. And you see how now the land opens up. So I'm just going to go along here. So you have the vines here with the grapes, as you can see here. So this can create for you a nice sustainable lifestyle. And one of the things that a lot of people make the mistake of is buying too much land. Uh, here we have just a, over half a hectare, so that's 5,280 square meters of land. Uh, a hectare obviously is 10,000 square meters, which is a lot of land. Uh, and I get inquiries from people wanting uh, five, six, ten hectares of land, and it's a lot of land to take care of. So a recommendation is always start Especially when you're moving uh, to Portugal in the summer it can be quite hot uh, and having a smaller amount of land which is much more manageable is much better and much more advisable so here we have 5280 square meters of land which is perfect here you're walled in as well so you've got the, the security of the wall you have your fruit trees, you have your olive trees, you have your two wells, and you have the urban uh, structures of the buildings. Uh, for a lot of you who are outside of the European Union, need to purchase an urban article. So this piece of land, having the urban article, even though it's a ruin, uh, is an excellent advantage because it gives you an address. Uh, which is what the CEF need when you're applying for your visa or similar. So here we have so the land is walled there you have olive trees there's a fig tree here Uh, 
healthy. You see the fruits growing on there. And this is a really large well located here. Yeah, almost to the top. And they're normally uh, anything from 5 to 12 metres deep. I'm not sure on the depth on this one, but it's a good size. more olive trees and another fig tree which is there's quite a few fig trees in fact and we have another one here Orange tree here, you see there, starting to grow. So you have this wall all the way around your land. And having sheep, for example, or goats, it keeps the grass down and helps with the maintenance of the property. You also have a wall here and a fence. There's the neighbour's property there. 